How is it going, everybody? It is Kekoa back from After School Hustle, and today, guys, I'm going to be going over my prediction for John McAfee's next coin for the day. Every day for the past week or so, he's been tweeting out a new coin every day. Usually, that coin is under 10 cents, and I'm going to be going over some reasons why I believe that next coin is going to be Sia coin. So, if you guys are looking to get in on the pump early on, Usually the coins that John McAfee tweets about end up going up around 100 to 120 percent within the next 15 minutes or so Or even like the next five minutes after he tweets about it. So if you guys are looking to make some quick gains um, I, I would consider checking out Sia coin simply because of the past history of coins that John McAfee's tweeted out um, and the actual uh, applicability of Sia coin and I, I actually really like Sia coin so even if John McAfee never tweets about it I still think it is a good investment long term currently I don't have any money freed up at the moment so I cannot invest in Sia coin it is up over around 700% in the past week so it has gone up a ton and you may want to wait for a pullback before entering in but I'm gonna be going over the past coins that John McAfee has tweeted about and kind of um, some info on why I believe Sia coin is next so if you guys did not know John McAfee actually started the McAfee anti malware software security system now this was actually bought by Intel but they kept the name McAfee for the antivirus software um, so this is kind of where he became famous he actually ended up getting um, he had around a hundred million dollars in like stock investments and stuff like that before the financial crisis but once that um, occurred he actually went down to about a net worth all of his assets were only worth about four million dollars so he lost about 96 percent of his investments in the crash so that's pretty that's pretty terrible it's very sad um, but this may be um, some reason why he's trying to pump up these coins I do believe he uh, makes money by promoting these coins by either just buying into the coins themselves or he's actually getting paid um, by the coins or he's getting paid by um, the like the creators behind it I have seen some ICOs that he's been shilling on his page the KWH coin um, I believe they probably paid him um, to advertise their coin on um, his page. I do believe there's a lot of great ICOs out there, and I've never heard of the ICOs that he actually um, is kind of promoting or the pre-sales that he's promoting. So I, I definitely believe there's some payment uh, behind these, and I believe he's making a fortune off of promoting these coins. So I mean, good for him, but honestly, guys, um, I, I believe there is some sort of risk um, attached by investing in the coins that John McAfee shills because... Um, with red coin, uh, this is one of the coins he shilled the other day. Um, we can see that it's up 127% today. Um, and while it is back at like the almost the all-time high of around the 180 uh, Satoshi mark, um, after we hit the 180 Satoshi mark, it dropped pretty quickly down. Um, in, in like the next two hours, it dropped all the way down to like the 106 Satoshi mark. So this did look like a pump and dump in the short term side of things. Um, although it does look like we're returning to new highs. Um, so just guys when you're investing in these coins that he pumps if you guys are getting in at the at the time of the pump when it's already up 100% I would be very careful entering in because it may that that coin may end up seeing a sell-off and it generally does um, probably 30 40 even 50 percent so just be careful if you're entering in at these all-time highs but if you get in before the pump occurs I do believe there's a lot of good money to be made burst coin is another coin that John McAfee uh, tweeted about. I'm not sure when he tweeted about this one, um, but I know he did. And we see that this coin is under 10 cents with Digibyte. Um, it is under 10 cents. This has also seen a meteoric rise um, in the past week. Verge, he tweeted about. Pretty much everyone who follows John McAfee is looking for the next Verge. They want another 2,000% coin. Um, and I, I believe Sia coin could probably get another 100% increase in the next week if John McAfee tweets about it. Um, and it is actually a pretty good project. So. Jumping in to what Sia coin is, guys. Uh, if we look at Sia coin on Coin Market Cap, we see it, it, it's at three cents, two hundred and thirty-nine satoshi. So this is a prime example of the type of coins that uh, John McAfee likes to uh, shill out and get everyone to buy. Um, but this is actually up about seven hundred percent in the past week. We have a billion dollar market capitalization as of right now. Verge recently hit about three billion dollars, so I think that Sia coin could probably see another. A billion dollar market cap increase if um, if, if uh, John McAfee decides to shill it um, I'm, 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 it's it's funny to me that simply one person shilling this coin with like 400,000 followers can have such an impact but I guess that's how crypto is 
But what C what separates Sia from um, other cryptos is I I found this article on Reddit. Um, I actually really like the Sia community. There's about twenty one thousand followers or readers on the Sia Reddit, so that's interesting to see. Um, but he pretty much says like Sia has an actual working product, um, and many other altcoins are pure speculation and don't even have a product yet. Secondly, the Sia team doesn't want to pump or advertise their coin until the platform is mature enough. A smart move on their part. So those are two things that I like about Sia coin already. Um, and what Sia coin is, or Sia, the Sia platform pretty much is, is a decentralized cloud backend um, platform. So they are trying to get a new era of cloud storage on the blockchain. Um, we see that it's completely private. Sia splits apart, encrypts, and distributes your files across a decentralized network. Since you hold the keys, you own the data. No outside company can access or control your files, unlike traditional cloud storage providers. Um, Amazon actually um, is one ex a great example of a traditional centralized cloud storage provider. Um, they, they make you pay around $23 for each terabyte of data you use on their, on their server. Um, but Sia actually only costs about $2 per month um, for the, each terabyte, uh, which is a lot, uh, lot cheaper. It's about 90% 90, 90 cheaper. Um, then Amazon so that's great uh, even like 10 times less expensive that's what they kind of say there so that's that's awesome another thing that's great about Sia it's far more affordable um, and then another thing is that it's highly redundant so Sia stores tiny pieces of your files on dozens of nodes across the globe and this eliminates any single point of failure and ensures highest possible uptime on par with other cloud storage providers. So if you guys are trying to access your data, um, it's available immediately because it's not just on one server. So if it's on a lot of different servers, like they would all have to be down um, in order for your data to not be available. So say I want um, to put my data on one server or put it on like 20 different servers. If I put it on one server, if that server goes down, can't access my data. But if I put it on 20 different servers, all 20 would have to go down in order to make it uh, so my data is not available. So I like that a lot about Sia coin um, and then it's also open source So a lot of individuals have contributed to Sia software and there's an active community building innovative applications on top of the Sia API One last thing is that uh, there's a marketplace on the blockchain So using the Sia blockchain Sia creates a decentralized storage marketplace in which hosts compete for your business and this leads to the lowest possible prices Renters pay using Sia coin, which can also be mined and traded. So all in all, guys, I do believe Sia is a great buy. It's still um, pretty high up right now. I do believe we are on a peak um, right now. If you guys want to go purchase this coin, you can head over to Bitrix to buy this. Um, I do believe personally, guys, I believe this is going to be one of the coins that John McAfee shills out to everyone if you guys are looking to get some uh, quick 50% 100% gains maybe check out Sia coin I'm not saying that this is financial advice make sure you do your own research so if you guys invest in this and John McAfee never tweets about it you're still satisfied with your investment um, currently it seems like it's at a pretty high level so I will not be purchasing any myself but it's just a suggestion to you guys if you um, want a coin that John McAfee may be tweeting about um, and also has good potential even if he doesn't. So that's kind of what I'm looking for right now, guys. If you want to know my portfolio as of this moment, I'm currently invested in Substratum, which has been killing the game today, up about uh, up around 30%, I do believe, at least in Satoshi value. Wabi is also killing the game for me. Um, I also invested in Tron. I took a decent sized position in Tron um, on the dip because I do believe there's a lot of good things coming up for Tron. And then also, guys, I took a, I did a review on Icon or ICX, uh, which is a Korean-based um, platform, Korean-based uh, blockchain platform um, that I would definitely go take a look at as well. My that, my position in Icon is the smallest, although I do believe there's a huge upside potential for Icon. So make sure to go check it out as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a thumbs up as it does support the channel. Subscribe if you're new and make sure to hit that notification bell if you guys have already subscribed to stay up to date with all of my latest videos. I hope every one of you guys is having a fantastic holiday so far. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, um, Happy any other holidays that you guys celebrate. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Kiko from After School Hustle and I'm out. Peace. 
Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Fuck local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined. I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things.